My name is Ben Reeves, I'm a paediatric cardiologist from Cairns. So rheumatic heart disease is a consequence of acute rheumatic fever and rheumatic fever arises from infection in the body from group A strep bacteria. Once you get infected, uh, either as a sore throat or skin sores, then the body responds by creating an immune response trying to kill off that infection and unfortunately the immune response actually causes damage to other organs including the heart, the joints and sometimes the brain. Rheumatic heart disease days really focus community attention on this disease because it's, it's not often recognised as a big problem. We get people together, we talk about it, uh, we have the children go through the medical tests that they need, they have the treatment that is very important to prevent progression of this disease and it brings everything out in the open and I think it's, it's a good community event. I think parents need to look out for common infections that they might otherwise overlook. So a sore throat or skin sores can lead to long-term heart damage and that would be terrible if we missed that. People with sore joints and fevers need to go to the health centre to get checked for rheumatic disease and we know that we've got effective treatments. It's really important that families keep up with their doctor's visits and keep going with the treatment.